ஆண்டாள் திருவடிகளே சரணம் திருப்பாவை டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபிஃப்த் பாசுரம் ஒருத்தி மகனாய் பிறந்து ஓரிரவில் ஒருத்தி மகனாய் ஒழித்து வளர தருக்கிலானாகி தான் தீங்கு நிறைந்த கருத்தை பிழைப்பித்த கஞ்சன் வயிற்று நெல் நெருப்பென்னின்ற நெடுமாலே உன்னை எருத்தித்து வந்தோம் பறை தருதியாகில் திருத்தக்க செல்வமும் சேவகமும் யாம் பாடி வருத்தமும் தீர்ந்து மகிழ்ந்தே லோரெம்பாவாய் ஆண்டாள் அண்ட் ஹர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஹாவ் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல்லி ஓக்கன் அப் த லார்ட் அண்ட் ரிக்வெஸ்டட் ஹிம் டு கம் அண்ட் ஆக்யூபை த த்ரோன் so that they can tell him what they want of him to complete their pavai nobu or margari vrata the lord also listens to them and beautifully walks down to the throne and the girls do mangalashasanam to him as he is walking thus now the lord is comfortably seated on the throne and andal and her friends begin talking to him as soon as the conversation starts andal praises the lord in the present avatara that is the avatara present in front of them the krishna avatara she says o oh lord in this avatara of yours you are born as the son of that one lady oruthi maganai pirandu now everybody is born as the son or daughter of one lady so what is special about mentioning that you are the son of one lady why is andal saying like this the answer is when andal says oruthi that one lady it means that there is none other like that lady she is unique and this unique lady is devaki devi the mother of lord krishna why was devaki devi unique because it is said that devaki devi did a penance three births before and this penance she had done in order to obtain a son who was like lord narayana three births ago devaki devi was named as prishni and her husband in that birth was sutapas who was none other than vasudeva the husband of devaki devi and this couple prishni and sutapas performed penance pertaining to lord narayana because they wanted a progeny who would be as just and compassionate as lord narayana so they did penance and as a result of that penance the lord incarnated in front of them as soon as they saw the lord they asked him for they asked him for a child like him the lord smiled and said see unfortunately i cannot grant you a child like me because there is none like me so if you want somebody like me the best i can do is i can come myself as your son thus was the compassion of the lord these people only wanted somebody like the lord to be their son but the lord was kind enough to go himself as their son so overwhelmed with this answer of the lord this couple told the lord it seems oh lord we are blessed we indeed want you as our son and this statement that is we indeed want you as our son they repeated thrice in their excitement they said oh lord we want you as our son oh lord we want you as your son oh lord we want you as our son like this they repeated three times and because they repeated thrice the lord said granted 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 thrice so he said that now that you have asked thrice and i have given thrice i will be your son also for three births three times i will incarnate as your son and to fulfill this boon of his the lord incarnated as their son in that very birth he was born as the son of prishni and sutapas and he was known as prishni garbha and then in their next birth when prishni came as aditi devi and sutapas came as kashyapa prajapati the lord incarnated as their son vamana 
and for the third time when prishni came as devaki devi and sutapas came as vasudeva the lord incarnated as their son as lord krishna so this kind of unique compassion was shown by you to this mother of yours and so she stands out unique and so i call her as oruti the unique one the unparalleled one and you the unparalleled lord came down as her son oruti maganai pirandu and as soon as you incarnated o lord in that beautiful one night or iravil or iravu means one night so in that beautiful night when you incarnated certain things happened she says so when she is talking about this beautiful night again she is saying that it is or iravu one night meaning there was no other night like that night it was a unique night an unparalleled night what was unparalleled about this night this was the night when shackles broke open on their own it is said that as soon as lord krishna incarnated the iron chains by which vasudeva and devaki were bound opened up themselves this was just to indicate that the presence of the lord in our lives will break away bonds of unnecessities bonds of vices from our lives so all these unwanted bondage of samsara will fly away as soon as we realize the presence of lord in our lives and try to go and attain him so in this night that was actually demonstrated by the lord so it is called as a unique night not only that this was the unique night when everybody in this world were sleeping except four souls who were they vasudeva devaki lord krishna and that one baby who was born as the daughter of yashoda at gokulam apart from these four people the entire world was asleep that was the uniqueness of that night not only this as vasudeva tried to transport this divine child krishna from the jail to gokulam he had to cross the river yamuna and to the wonder of everybody at that time the yamuna started flowing against its normal current normally any river will flow only in one direction but in this case yamuna flew in the opposite direction so that it could leave way for vasudeva to carry the lord along and transport him to gokulam so such was the uniqueness of this night not only this many many more miracles happened in this night and all these miracles have been explained in detail by swami deshikan in his work called yadava abhyudayam andal just used two words or iravu she said one night and to describe this one unique night in detail swami deshikan has penned down 64 shlokas describing in detail as to how unique the night was such was the devotion of swami deshikan to andal and such was the respect that he gave to her words because each and every word of andal has oceans of meanings hidden in it and just to prove that swami deshikan has given us a highlight about this or iravu so in this or iravu unique night what happened the lord became the son of another mother and this another mother also is described as oruthi by andal oruthi maganai olithu valara andal says the second mother of yours yashoda devi was also oruthi that one mother one lady the unique lady yashoda what was unique about yashoda she was the one who was completely blessed by the lord even without having asking for anything yashoda did not ask that she wanted the lord to be her child but the lord himself came to her as her child and this child of yashoda was treated only as a child yashoda was completely unaware of the fact that he is the master of the universe and so she showered affection on him and authority on him completely as a mother and it seems that the lord wanted to enjoy this purity of authority and so he chose yashoda that
thus making her unique uruti maganai and thus becoming the son of yashoda the lord was brought up secretively in gokulam says andan olithu valara olithu valara means the one who grew up secretively just because krishna always was under the threat of kamsa people did not want to make a big show of any festival or any function related to krishna it seems so it is said that the naming ceremony of krishna was held in a very simple fashion in a cow head behind the house of nandagopa he did not want to make any hue and cry of this situation like he did not want to attract attention that a child is with him and that he is special and all that so they tried to bring him up very secretively but the son cannot be kept secretively so also the son of nandagopa could not be kept secretively so it became evident to the world that he is a special son he is like the sun who dispels darkness and so he could not be hid and so this threat or danger the danger maker kamsa realized that he is around in gokulam and then what happened tarikila nagi he was unable to tolerate that fact that krishna is surviving in gokulam so he made n number of plots to come and harm krishna tan thing nidainda he kept on thinking evil for krishna here andal very carefully says tan thing nidainda means that kamsa thought evilly about krishna kamsa thought bad about krishna krishna did not have any evil intentions or any kind of revenge seeking mentality against kamsa he was never against kamsa for anything but kamsa was the one who kept on plotting against krishna so andal says tan thing nidainda kamsa thought of evil tan thing nidainda but all his plots failed karuttai pidai pitta all his all of kamsa's plots were all one by one put to an end very stylishly by the lord it seems karuttai pidai pitta so this kamsa kanjan kanjan means kamsa became really furious and day and night the existence of krishna started haunting him as if he had fire in his heart nerupenna nindra it was like the lord was a, like a fire inside him burning him down he was so tensed about krishna being alive or krishna surviving in gokulam that he did not find peace at all it was like some fire inside him was burning him out and this kamsa having the fire of krishna inside him unfortunately got consumed by that fire itself the lord did not have to go and slay kamsa separately the very feeling that the lord is surviving and that his plots are all not working itself put down kamsa's morale so much that he did not have the strength to stand and fight up against krishna much thus the lord became a terror for kamsa but that was not the lord's intention he never wanted to scare kamsa or he never wanted to create any kind of fear in kamsa's mind all that he wanted was to somehow drive away the enmity in kamsa he wanted to put an end of the enmity of kamsa not kamsa himself because andal says the lord is nedumale the lord is called as nedumal mal means the one who has extraordinary love for his dear and dear ones and for the lord the entire universe is his dear and dear so the lord is so fond of everybody that he will never think wrong or evil for anybody and the word mal itself signifies that the lord is the one having extraordinary love for his people andal goes on to add one more word saying that the lord is nedumal nedumal means the one having extreme compassion and affection to his to his devotees so thus o lord you are our nedumal you are nedumal to us and because you are nedumal the one having extraordinary compassion we have come to you unnai arutittu vandom arutittu vandom means 
we have come praying to you and she says we have come praying to you unnai aruthittu vandom means praying to you and secretively in tamil it can also mean praying for you so here andal is trying to convey some hidden meaning which is probably understood or not understood by the lord we don't know we'll get to know in a few pasunams from now but she says that we have come to you o lord for the sake of you for the sake of you is not very evidently mentioned here she says we have come to you and then she says if you grant us what we want parai tarudiyagil we have come to ask you for parai parai as we said is an instrument a drum kind of instrument which they need to complete their margari nob so if we ask you and if you give us this parai parai tarudiyagil then you know what will happen something good will happen to you and something good will happen to us what is the good that will happen to you that she says first she says tirutakka selvamum you will become the befitting husband of lakshmi she says tirutakka selvam means you will become worthy of your wife called tiru or lakshmi why is andal saying this andal is saying this because lakshmi devi is one who would understand the minds of devotees even if they did not actually go and ask her for what they wanted she was so compassionate so here also these girls have now said unnai arithittu vandho we have come to you but they are only indicatively saying that they have come for him they are just saying that we have come to you and they want him to understand that they have come for him now if he properly understood that that hidden meaning if the lord would properly understand it would mean that he is a befitting husband to lakshmi because lakshmi understands such secretive language very well because she is so compassionate so if you also understand and grant us what we want you will become her befitting husband and that is what you desire too we know that you like lakshmi so much that you would enjoy the fact if somebody calls you the befitting husband of lakshmi so if you behave thus to us by giving parai then you would be called as tiruttakka selvan that is the befitting husband of lakshmi that is what you will get out of this transaction fine what do we get out of this transaction that also we'll tell you sevaga mumyam paadi after you give us what we want we will keep singing your glory so much that we will forget all our miseries varuttamum teerndu and remain happy eternally magunde lorembavai we will achieve our life's goal what what does a man need in life he always wants to stay away from grief misery and always wants to be happy so that end we will get we will be able to meet this goal of life she says varuttamum teerndu means all our grief and misery will be over and magindu means we will be happy and this is what the purvacharyas say as we will have anishta nivritti and ishta prapti what is that anishta nivritti means getting rid of whatever we do not want and ishta prapti means getting whatever we desire that's exactly what anybody wants from life we don't want what we don't desire and we want what we desire that's so simple so that end of ours we will be able to meet if you grant us what we want okay so we have come to you o lord unnai arutittu vandom like this some secretive message andal and her friends give the lord and the lord is seeming to understand something and now he is going to respond to these girls tomorrow let us see how the lord responds to them